Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Lab Coding. In this episode, I'm gonna take you through um, simple creations of this um, animation nodes, node 3, to do um, coloring of Voronoi fracture that Spreadshock generated. So uh, let's just get started. So it should be quite simple, uh, except that there's a there's a few gotchas here and there with animation nodes. I'll, I'll show you why. Okay, we start with a with a box using spare chop and we're gonna output the bmesh viewer right away um, so box and bmesh viewer will give you like a real object here in the scene so it's just like a box um, and I'm gonna do a quick Voronoi using spare chop so I'm gonna use a scripted node light and here we're gonna create a Voronoi 3d nodes uh, we're gonna pipe in the the box polygon data and it's gonna be the output and for the points we need to just maybe scatter some random random vector just do it like that so we have uh, Voronoi fracture already happening you can further randomize it if you like just slightly like like that so we have this Voronoi fracture but this guy is actually a single object, right? This is inside Spreadshop. I'll save this real quick. ANSV Voronoi Fracture Coloring. And the next thing we want to do is to maybe separate this into different pieces. I'm gonna use separate loose parts. So Spreadshop already have these operations that does the separation. So now this is like separate objects, but with separate objects, we always want to group it. Um, I turn on group and then update in the timeline. Timeline, and then now we have uh, the objects fracture already being grouped. Now um, to work with objects, um, animation nodes actually does really well, uh, well suited for that. So if we go to animation nodes and create node three, we can simply get the objects from group. So this is the alpha group that Spreadshock generated, and inside it there's a Voronoi fracture. And now what's what do we want to do? We want to change the color of the object. So we uh, since this is Blender render, we can use the object attribute color for this. So objects plug into this guy and you know, this is actually a multiple values and um, yeah we need to give it material first for this object so back to spread chop and just assign it a material but I'm gonna manually create it because spread chop uh, will create a cycles material for this um, for this task we just gonna use object color blender render turn on object color and assign it so now each fracture already have this uh, material that respect the object color which is this guy over here so we can colorize it manually but we want to do it procedurally using animation nodes so the way to do it let's see combine color if I'm not wrong combine color can actually do it but this say list have different lengths okay this this will not work um, and if we don't have like a random color nodes so we kind of need to use random vector and for this guy we want if we want multiple values we click on this guy let's say we want 10 we don't know the, the number of the objects I need to count it yet but for now I need to kind of pipe in the vector into this uh, hue saturation and value but apparently this combined color is not yet vectorized so that's the that's the gacha that I was talking about so if you like you're using like a separate vector you want to separate this uh, random vector value it doesn't work so that's kind of unfortunate but don't worry about that uh, we can kind of still use the loop of animation nodes so we have this uh, a number of random vector random tree value xyz okay and we want to loop it we can loop it uh, using if we hold these nodes and tap w 
and just look through the vector. So loop will actually look through um, the value, the vector value in this list. And inside of the loop, we can simply pipe in the color. So separate vector, this guy goes into the hue, saturation, and value. And we can use RGB, HSV, doesn't matter. But the output is going to be list of color. So we're going to click here, type in color list, and plug in the color there. So this become our little simple um, simple node 3, which is our loop. But the output is this uh, list of color. And this should go in there and should actually work. But it doesn't work because the number is incorrect. Lists have different lengths. That's uh, something you, you always need to keep in mind when using animation nodes. The number needs to be correct. So get the list length, plug into the, the count of this. So we should have this random colored object. We can randomize the seed. If you see like a black color, that's because um, because with the uh, random vectors, we actually get a value that's under zero. We can make it absolute if I'm not wrong. Just use, use math. And let's see if we have this absolute value okay absolute uh, we can pipe it like this and this guy can go in there now our value is a bit nicer and we can randomize the seed Scale it. The funny thing is the color seems to be a little bit orange and green. Maybe I need to use HSV. Just plug in the hue and saturation value on. So maybe this is what you want. So yeah, that, there you go. That's uh, pretty much it. You can actually do the same thing using Spreadshop. Um, if you like this object, you can just use a set object set color and plug this object and then type in color here. And with Sphere Chalk, you have you have color in and the color in will actually work with a random vector. Separate uh, value, same same thing, same deal. So this color goes in there. Uh, we're gonna need use alpha. So let's see if I uh, should I delete this connection. Maybe I I just disconnect this and then see go back to spread chalk. You can colorize it this way. Spread chalk actually work with a uh, multiple data. Spread chalk uh, color in. So we just need to wait for maybe animation nodes developer to vectorize their color for now we can if you want to use sphere chalk we can just separate uh, combine random now i forgot uh, vectors vector separate a vector out and just plug it in We can do it this way, and same here, same deal. We need to use a uh, absolute. Absolute. So I think I've done this uh, in the past. There you go. Same result. Uh, no big deal. You, you just learn like two ways of doing things. Uh, how to color it colorize a fracture of objects and this guy is actually separate with spread chalk you can actually um, modify the color of each pieces without separating them if you use the color vertex but that's uh, another just another thing so 
so I can increase the number of fracture no problem and I can increase the number here as well it should work both way in sphere chalk and also in animation nodes um, what's the advantage of animation nodes is that you can easily um, kind of doing color uh, manipulations like uh, you can animate the color for example and you can also easily transform objects let's say like scaling each pieces like this it's actually easier quite easy to do in uh, animation nodes um, let's see if I reconnect this to color where is it so object color color list object set so I'll go back to stretch up and I will disconnect this back to animation nodes plug the plug the color and the objects set this to color turn on multiple values so it's a bit that's nicer as well there's a okay there's a bit of overlap let's stretch up maybe you need to adjust the the bounding okay so that's a little bit better result with the Voronoi so back to animation nodes let's see if we can wiggle the color I wonder if I should do that now random vector offset offset vectors okay offset vector works already with a I think it should general generally it should work like index should go there so there you go this we can kind of randomizing the color this way wonder if fall off will work as well delay fall off I didn't plan this so, so frame Yeah, it seems to be working. It looks like kind of slow, but it shouldn't be slow if we turn on to 3D view full and then just run it. Okay, it seems like it's a bit slow. Maybe it's calculating um, spread chalk as well. But other than that, this is actually working. So that's pretty much it for this uh, live noting. Uh, let me know what you think. Any questions, suggestions, let me know in, uh, in the comment section below. and. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.